Today video we will talk about Hungarian Embassy visa documents list. Two important point visa document list plus interview. Today video we will talk about visa document list. In coming video I will try my best to give you detailed description of visa interview question. So make sure to subscribe Shweb Speaks. I will give you link of fill and sign application form residence permit and appendix 14 you have just click on that and download both residence permit and appendix 14 form so let's move how to fill residence permit and appendix 14 no need to write anything in case of mobility of student in that area just you have to write name of university where you got admission then type of education advanced training then address of education establishment same university address uh, last university name uh, last university means uh, if you are applying for masters you have to write information of your bachelor degree uh, language spoken and then uh, means source of support if you are means a stipendium Hungarian student then uh, press yes if you are self-funded student then press yes if you are uh, families mean family will support you then press yes so these documents in these form are not specific for any country so mean these document list in form are for almost almost all students throughout the globe so do you have any saving yes amount and then name of family member mean you are supporting uh, who will support you your sponsor name and then amount so Appendix 14 form you just have to write your information university name last university name and source of income your sponsor name and amount of Saving next one is a residence permit form the application request me you want to receive by post or by hand depend on your choice you have to write that applicant will collect the documents means if you are not available and you want that someone else will collect my passport so you have to write that a uh, personal data surname your name uh, mother name uh, your sex male female um, status married or single date of birth place of birth simple information citizenship and it means if you are working somewhere so you have to write that passport number make sure to write correctly passport number place and date of issue type of passport depend on your passport so private passport service passport depend on your case uh, means have you any comprehensive no and return or onward journey condition depend uh, do you have any necessary means if you have passport visa you just have to read and it's quite simple I'm trying my best to explain those points which is a bit complicated Do you have a document means uh, before that if you applied for any other country visa and you have residence permit of that so you have to click yes if not no and if you apply for any other country visa and you got rejection so then you have to click yes if not no and have you been expelled from Hungary if yes definitely no and then plane of study most student means almost ask same question plane duration of study if you are applying for master so you have to write and you have to count from academic year till next two year if you are applying for bachelors you have to count three and a half year if you are applying for phd almost four year depend on your degree next one is two pass four photos blue and black background both are acceptable next one is a flight booking so I usually recommend my students to book your flight from uh, any travel agency so it's super simple and you don't need to be panic 
otherwise you can reserve it on yourself in coming days i will try my best to make video on that point as well so next document is accommodation proof this year problematic point for almost all students because of covid 19 but if universities are providing hostels and if university uh, send you detail of hostel then no need to be panic you just have to submit that like uh, for university of michigan student they usually uh, provide accommodation for self-funded and even for scholarship students so they even for other universities as well so they will send you means hostel in case if you if universities are not providing accommodation they do then you have to reserve your accommodation by booking.com or agoda.com without putting your credit card information make sure that you should not put credit card information in coming video i will try my best to cover that part as well that how you how you should reserve your accommodation without putting credit card information next one is valid insurance you can make it from any insurance agency for at least one month no need to make your insurance more than one month because once you arrived here you have to apply for almost two year insurance so for initial condition you just have to reserve it for one year next one is bank statement means at least last six month bank statement and bank statement certificate you can make bank statement certificate from same bank branch in bank statement of at least last six month next point is really really important for those students who are applying on self basis you have to show your income source otherwise you will not get your visa I mean some students are just put amount in being before interview and they think we will get visa but it's not like that you have to show your income proof but for those students who are I mean stipendium hungarian scholarship student or having any other scholarship so if you show just at least one lake in one lake 50,000 Pakistani rupees it's enough in euro almost 400 500 euros and for self and student at least 10 to 15 lake rupees next one is uh, valid acceptance later issued by university mean admission later provided by university like in our case university of michigan later you have to attach that document and it's very important next one is school certificate attested by ibcc or hec depend on your country means you have to attest your education documents from your higher education officials in case of pakistan you have to attest your documents from hec mean your master in bachelor degree and fsc in metric degree from ibcc means you have to you have to attest your documents from higher education agency of your country next one is family registration certificate in Paki means uh, in our case we should easily make it from another office but depend on your country you have to google it same for birth certificate and police clearance certificate you have to search in internet uh, means we can easily make it from another office and those students who are from FATA they can make it from Union Council and almost almost other city you can other city student you can make it from nadra office or union council depend on your region birth certificate uh, almost in fata region you have to make it from nadra office and if you are from any other part of pakistan you can make it from union council clear police clearance certificate same story next one is cv in english it's really important i usually recommend my students that you should submit cv in euro pass permit because it's quite easy to make and quite easy to read for reader as well so next one is cv and you have to make it on euro pass in coming video i will also try my best to 
cover that basic section as well next one is sign motivational letter means same motivational letter that you submitted while applying for scholarship or for admission in same university so you have to sign that motivational letter and next two documents are for those students who applied on behalf of any consultant in case if you don't have then you should not submit these two documents thank you very much for watching and i hope so if you have any question you can ask in comment section i will try my best to give you detail of every individual student questions in coming video i will try my best to cover the next section visa interview section so till that time take care of yourself bye bye allah hafiz